Hey, Conan here. I just gave a short exhale before I started and it made Matt laugh. Uh, welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. This is, what was they would say, probably in the 1890s, a corker. We've got a corker today. Yeah. I'm joined uh, by my pal, Sona. Hi, there's an insect. What's that? Flying on this tree. Okay, let me explain where we are. Settle down. We're, we're not in the woods in Brazil. We are in uh, a very nice hotel suite, which we booked because our very special guest is Carol Burnett. Uh, she's here. She's doing a junket. We don't move for anybody. They come to us. Right. But when it's Carol Burnett, we packed up our shit when we got here as fast as we could. And we got a room full of insects. And then we're in this room. And Sona, you have not been able to focus yet. It's so close. I just. I don't fear an insect. It's just so close to your face. Yeah, what's probably attracted to the hairspray. Okay. A lot of it. <laughs> Do you um, see it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's bugs. There are these two. And I don't want to now say the name of the hotel. It's a very fancy hotel. I don't want to denigrate them in any way. But there are bugs uh, swarming around these um, beautiful, Sorry. beautiful plants, tall plants. <sighs> and uh, I'm worried because uh, Carol Burnett's going to be here. And we'll probably have to um, spray the place before she gets in. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Are we're pretending we didn't do the interview already? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, don't. I just go with what you set up. I'm I like sorry. to lay out realities, okay. and yeah. Matt knows to go along. Okay, we did the reality. We did it already. <laughs> Maybe she brought those bugs in. I saw her release a vial of bugs at one point. <laughs> do you sorry. think? Yeah. <clears throat> sorry. It was incredible. I'm sorry. Yeah. I tried to say, oh, we have Carol. I tried to build like an old show business, some suspense, like Carol Burnett's coming. This is going to be exciting. And then immediately, Sony, you went, what do you mean? We already talked to her. And there's <laughs> bugs here. <laughs> well, you just completely def <laughs> deflated know, our I'm bouncy sorry. castle. I ruined it. I'm sorry. I am sorry. No, you're not. You I'm love not ruining sorry. it. I'm sorry. I really didn't. I don't should. I don't know if I should feel bad because you're lying. And I need it's just to lying point, with a soft. Don't do it night here. Hey, I was don't thinking about this, here. Sona. Your hard G. It, what baffles me is it's not a Southern California thing, and you're a native. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, she says she's a native. <laughs> oh, <no>. So, <laughs> Carol Burnett was a trailblazer. Yes. That's all I got. I just wanted to stop whatever you guys were doing. Well, I can't wait till she gets here because it'll be nice for you to meet her. Okay. Because you didn't already. I will say this, which is unusual. Uh, Gorley, you are uh, always a, a smartly dressed fellow. Oh. Sona, um, and do not take this personally, but you oh. you have very casual attire. You own one jacket. I believe it belonged to Dr. Zayas on Planet of the Apes. <laughs> it's a well-worn leather coat uh, that you've had. I guess you found it in a bin somewhere a long time ago. But anyway, you're not someone who dresses up a lot. You look fantastic today. You... You went all out for Carol Burnett. I, I really respect her, mm -hmm. her, and I <laughs> wanna I wanna look good for her. Usually most of the time when we're recording, there's no reason I should look good. Cause well, I don't care about what well, well, other people on. like you think about. Me. Well, wait a minute. I, no, but I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I really did. Unlike, I mean, I, there are similarities I have with Carol Burnett. We are both no. inspirations no. to red hair and it women. stops there, no. I think. Yes. Uh, no, it doesn't stop with red hair. Many women got into comedy because no, they thought I no, was a woman. No, 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 no. <laughs> they were inspired that I got the late night show in 93. <laughs> and then later on, they figured out I wasn't. But by then it was too late. They, you know, so yes. Yeah. But I did dress up for her. And also I dressed up for the hotel because it's nice. It's a very nice hotel, except yeah. for the bugs. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That that distracted me. And then I drove up here and my, my car is really dirty mm -hmm. and there's a leak in it. And so the inside of my car is kind of smells a little more. Say something. Let me ask you a question. You said there's a leak in your car, not that your car is leaking, which would mean oil, antifreeze, one no. of the other brake fluid. What what is what is leaking the, in your I car? Think this, I think we have a sunroof, and I think water is coming into the car from the sunroof, and it rained a do lot. Do you close the sunroof? Do we you know do. You? It's closed. Okay. So you have a mildewy car it's that's full of trash. Yes. You yes. brought the insects in. I think I did. I that's think they incredible. Of course. Because they could nest in your hair. Your hair is. Oh, no, it's, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. First the hard G's, then the hair. Why am I in the clothes? Why am no, no, I here? Why do I do this? I because you use a lot of. Listen, I made a joke about hairspray. I'm not wearing hairspray, but you do use various waxes, oils, bombs. Yes. You are using hairspray. No, that's not hairspray. What is it? I don't want to say. Okay. Why? It's old mayonnaise. Oh, it's a great God. trick that I you learned. You brought the insects. I learned it from Danny Kay. <laughs> 
you get mayonnaise, you let it cure in the sun for a couple of weeks. And once the smell is gone and it's hardened, you put it in your hair and it gives it great volume. Okay. And then um, I did that and then mistakenly I let my son eat it. But six weeks later, he was out of the hospital. Oh um, these stories. <laughs> so stupid. I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I can't this wait stu- to meet Carol Burnett. I yes, know. a true comedy legend who knows what she's doing. <laughs> And Thank doesn't just God babble about. We did this after because if we did this truly before, I don't think we would have felt worthy. You know. Yeah, what I, mean? I know. Yeah. I mean, I still true. don't. But no, no, I know. But I'm going to stick with my reality. The reality is, we already did the interview with Carol Burnett. Oh, and it's fantastic. But I'm sticking with my old show business reality, which is that she hasn't entered the room yet. Okay. There are no bugs. Um, your hair looks fantastic. My hair is oh. amazing. As this is the, this is the reality I'm sticking with. You're a good assistant. Oh, uh, <laughs> and um, and we're thrilled and we're excited and we hear her f- footsteps coming down the hall right She's now. She's coming right now. We better get this. I going. hear her. Yeah. Well, listen. No, no. What you is know she this on, is on a video horse? Too? Is she? What is she coming here with? She's walking, but someone put horseshoes on her. <laughs> Which is just, I don't know why they did that. Oh, she's probably doing a bit. Or maybe it's the new fashion. Here she comes. No, that's bad. Here, the door's opening. <laughs> that's the horse whinnying? Whatever you like. Do you okay. like it being horse whinnying or door opening? Oh, that's what it was? I thought it was door opening. Okay. okay. I wasn't sure. No, horse whinnying is... I think it's I'm a horse. <laughs> that's a horse. Okay. Did the horse open the door? No. Oh. This is the horse. I'm a horse. She's standing right there. Hold on, Carol. I'm finished with this bit in a minute. Carol, just calm down. No, no, Carol, stand still. Um, okay. Uh, wow. Oh, yes, I don't know. Her voice changed rapidly. <laughs> just stand still. And um, yeah. Uh, and then the the door opened. I'm a door. Um, the door said I'm a door? And all my sound effects, it, the sound effect ends up saying what it is. Okay. So there's no confusion. Before, yeah. 